Well, it's time for another episode of Lunch Break Farming. Today, we're going to go pay for uh, starter fertilizer. Well, this is how I spend a lot of my lunch breaks. I am headed to the bank uh, to go transfer some money, and then I gotta go out to uh, the co-op. I just booked some fuel. So the last day of February, uh, crude oil hit the lowest price it's been in three years. So I called this morning, got the prices on uh, farm diesel, prepaid farm diesel, so I'm headed out there right now to pay for that and I also need to talk to uh, talk to him about getting my starter because I haven't booked my starter yet so that is where I am headed right now and he'll probably take all of my lunch break and I'll just have to swing by Casey's and grab a slice of pizza on my way back to the shop and <laughs> yep another great lunch break I got a pretty good price since fuel was down. I locked in, they said the lowest price of the year, so that doesn't usually happen. Who knows, it could go lower, but the I always figure if you're happy with the price, you know, you got nothing to complain about. So I got uh, spring diesel for a dollar eighty seven a gallon and fall diesel booked for dollar ninety. 93 something like that oh 91 dollar 91 so that's not bad under two bucks for everything can't complain about that All right, so they were in there today, so I was able to get my starter all paid for. Let's see, about $7,000, $7,200 approximately. Well, I was gonna take you inside, but uh, there's a big sign in the window that says, uh, for your safety and the safety of employees, please phone in your orders and they will be brought out to you. Thanks for their phone number. I'm just ordering, opening my order from Shoop. Got a fancy new mesh hat. I'm not too keen on mesh hats, but nice little hat. Oh, looks like a catalog. Packing slip. Um, a piece of paper in a Ziploc bag. Another piece of paper. Some dust caps, some scrapers, nuts. Ah, 
Ah, there's my gear. Nice. Bushings. Oh yeah, a new spring. Break about oh one or two a year. Some outside scrapers. Or inside scrapers. Gauge wheel bearing. Ooh. Those be gauge wheel arms, I would guess, right there. Now we just need the weather to cooperate so we can get the planner out and start working on it. Well, it's an absolutely beautiful day, and uh, I can't seem to find any more work to do at work today, so I'm going to take off a little early, head to the farm. Let's see, uh, we might pull out a couple wagons, get the planter moved out away from the wall so I can work on it. Alright, well I was going to use the skid loader to move these wagons out. I even had the camera set up on top. And then I came in here and I thought, you know what? The 4440 still has the quick hitch on it. So why don't I just throw the quick hitches on here and pull these out? That's way easier than trying to wrap a chain around and hook it to the skid loader. Um, it's easier to back the wagons in with the skid loader, so we do that, but I'm just going to put the quick hitch back on real quick and pull it back out. That'd be a lot easier. Well, it was a very humid day today. You can see how much fuel we got in the tractors and that one. I didn't run them as empty as I thought I did last fall. So I just walked out of this tractor and I was like, why is there so much stuff on the floor? Oh, that's right. It smells really strong in here. Hopefully my soap and air freshener and dryer sheets and everything else worked and there's no mice. I hope there's no mice in here. And oh yeah, I forgot a little tree, black ice. Oh, it's really powerful in here. If I was a mouse, I wouldn't want to be in here. Whew. Well, the mice didn't chew up the dryer sheets, so that's a good sign. What are the odds this tractor will start? Oh, fan's running. Let's see.
I just stopped over at my buddy's and picked up my meters. He ran them all through his test stand. Um, we only had a problem with one. I think it's that one right over there. I think it's number 11. Um, I had, I overfilled uh, the starter tank and got a little fertilizer. The lid was open on that box. I scooped the top of the seed out. But uh, apparently it still got some fertilizer down inside the meter and it made a mess of the backing plate. So they had to put a new backing plate in it. He said the feet, fingers looked a little iffy, but it ran really good on the test stand, so he left it. Um, I'm trying not to put too much money into these meters because if things go well, I'd like to get a different planner. So. I didn't want to stick a ton of money into this. If I was going to keep this planner, I would have stuck a lot of money into it this year. Well, that's going to do it for this first installment of the planting vlog. Um, I'm basically just coming out and working whenever I'm not at my full-time job or shipping or with the family. I am out here working on stuff, getting it ready. So. That's going to do it for this video. I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Aw, mice didn't eat the candy I left for them. <laughs>